Mr. Comey, I just want you to know that I have great respect for you. Um, Senator Cornyn and I sit on the Judiciary Committee, so we have occasion uh, to have you before us. And I know that you're a man of strength and integrity, and I really regret the situation that we all find ourselves in. Um, I just want to say that. Um, let me begin with one overarching question. Why do you believe you were fired? I guess I don't know for sure. I believe the pre I think the president had his word that I was fired because of the Russia investigation. Something about the way I was conducting it, the president felt created pressure on him that he wanted to relieve. Again, I didn't know that at the time, but I've watched his interview. I've read the press accounts of his conversations. So I take him at his word there. Now, look, I, I could be wrong. Maybe he's saying something that's not true, but I take him at his word, at least based on what I know now. Yeah, uh, talk for a moment about his request that you pledge loyalty and your response to that and what impact you believe that had. I, I don't know for sure because I don't know the president well enough to read him well. I think it was, first of all, our relationship didn't get off to a great start, given the conversation yeah. I had to have on January 6th. This was not, uh, this didn't improve the relationship because it was very, very awkward. He was asking for something and I was refusing to give it. But again, I don't know him well enough to know how he reacted to that exactly. Do you believe the Russia investigation played a role? And why I was fired? Yes. Yes, because I've seen the okay. president say so. Um, let, let's uh, go to the Flynn issue. Um, uh, Senator Reich outlined, uh, I, I hope you could see your way to letting Flynn go. He's a good guy. I hope you can let this go. But you also said in your written remarks, and I quote, that you had understood the president to be requesting that we drop any investigation of Flynn in connection with false statements about his conversations with the Russian ambassador in December, end quote. Please go into that with more detail. Well, the, the context and the president's words are what led me to that conclusion. As I said in my statement, I could be wrong, but Flynn had been forced to resign the day before. And, and the controversy around General Flynn at that point in time was centered on whether he had lied to the vice president about the nature of his conversations with the Russians, whether he had been uh, candid with others in the course of that. And so that happens on the day before. On the 14th, the president makes specific reference to that. And so that's why I understood him to be saying that what he wanted me to do was drop any investigation connected to Flynn's account of his conversations with the Russians. Now, here's the question. You're big, you're strong. I know the Oval Office, and I know uh, what happens to people when they walk in. There is a certain amount of intimidation. But why didn't you stop and say, Mr. President, this is wrong. I cannot discuss this with you. It's a great question. Maybe if I were stronger, I would have. I was so stunned by the conversation that I just took it in. And the only thing I could think to say, because I was playing in my mind, because I was gonna remember every word he said, I was playing in my mind, what should my response be? And that's why I very carefully chose the words. And look, I, I've seen the tweet about tapes. Lordy, I hope there are tapes. I, I remember saying, I agree he's a good guy, as a way of saying, I'm not agreeing with what you just asked me to do. Again, maybe other people would be stronger in that circumstance, but that, that was, uh, that's how I conducted myself. I, I hope I'll never have another opportunity. Maybe if I did it again, I would do it better. Uh, you described two phone calls that you received from President Trump, one on March 30 and one on uh, April 11, where he, quote, described the Russia investigation as a cloud that was impairing his ability, end quote, as president, and asked you, quote, to lift the cloud, end quote. What, how did you interpret that? And what did you believe he wanted you to do? I interpreted that as he was frustrated that the Russia investigation was taking up so much time and energy, I, I think he meant of the executive branch, but in the, in the public square in general, 
and it was making it difficult for him to focus on other priorities of his. But what he asked me was actually narrower than that. So I think what he meant by the cloud, and again, I could be wrong, but what I think he meant by the cloud was the entire investigation is, is taking up oxygen and making it hard for me to focus on the things I want to focus on. The ask was to get it out that I, the president, am not personally under investigation. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.